This 1963 Aston Martin DP215 is a unique prototype directly approved by the visionary head of Aston Martin, David Brown, in March of 1963, only two months before the famed 24 hours of Le Mans race. It was the last racing car built by Aston Martin Works in the David Brown era. The design represents an important evolution from the swooping designs of the 1950s to the aerodynamically aggressive designs of the 1960s. To harness the wind, designers added elements like the cam tail, rear spoiler, and triangular knacker ducts on the bonnet. To reduce the car's weight, the chassis was drilled out wherever possible. The body was made from an aluminium magnesium alloy, originally developed for use in airplanes. The ultra-thin aluminium panels were difficult to work with, making the contours of the car even more remarkable. This Aston Martin has a Tadec Marek 4.0 litre straight six engine that helped Phil Hill, a three-time Le Mans winner and the first ever American Formula One world champion, become the first driver to break the 300 km per hour barrier at Le Mans. The car remains the fastest front engine car to have ever raced at the old Circuit de la Sarre. As part of its built to race design, the car borrowed military grade switch gear from Lancaster bombers and designers gave each electrical component its own individual switch. Uniquely, the tachometer was rotated so that the 6000 RPM rev limit would be shown at 12 o'clock. Wholly unique and stunningly beautiful, the Aston Martin DP215 was to become the last racing car built by the factory in the golden age of road racing and the ultimate evolution of the Aston Martin GT races.